Let's consider this question. To solve this problem, the numerator is enclosed in a greatest integer function. Greatest integer functions are usually enclosed in a square bracket and the value under consideration stays inside. And at the denominator, the x is enclosed in absolute value or modulus function. Modulus function rejects negatives as the output. Next, wherever I see x, I'm going to input minus 1.5 according to the question. That is, instead of x, I will have minus 1.5 in their positions. Next, at the numerator, consider the greatest integer function of minus 1.5. Minus 1.5 is in between minus 1 and minus 2. Greatest integer functions usually goes towards the left only, conventionally. The next integer towards this direction after minus 1.5 is minus 2 for the greatest integer function. Hence, everything here becomes minus 2. At the numerator, the greatest integer function is now minus 2. Next, at the denominator, absolute value rejects negative. If you give absolute value a negative, it's going to return positive. Hence, minus 1.5 becomes just 1.5 without the negative. Next, consider 1.5 at the denominator. 1.5, if this decimal moves, becomes 15 over 10, which is 3 over 2. Hence, here we are going to have minus 2 divided by 3 over 2. Next, we are going to have this is the same as this. Next, when you change division sign to multiplication sign, it's going to flip the denominator to the numerator and the numerator to the denominator. And here, our answer is minus 4 over 3. And from the options, your answer is C. You can check out other videos in Precalculus. And to locate all the videos, you can follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video.